making a decision to have your birth naturally and have your birth at home and have your birth unassisted is truly a huge responsibility. And no one should take this choice lightly. You, as the woman carrying your baby, needs to make choices that are informed choices. So if you're able to find a doula or a midwife or somebody that you trust that will support you, your ideas and your birth plan, and then conduct any further research that's necessary so that when you make choices and you create your birth plan, that all of your choices are informed choices. That's first. Second, that your partner, your husband, whoever they may be, that they are part of the decision making process and that your decisions are joint decisions so that they're able to advocate for you completely because they also understand the decision that you made because they agree with your decision. So this is important as well. The greatest thing that people fear quite often with choosing a natural birth, choosing an unassisted birth and a birth at home is what would happen in the event that your baby died. So what would happen? And quite often we'd want to ask, who's responsible? Well, if you believe in the natural birth process that, sorry, the natural process that birthing is, and you truly believe and you understand and you accept that, then you know that there is no one to blame. When you understand the role of the placenta and you see the placenta as midwife or as God in the sense that the placenta is the one that decides whether a pregnancy is viable or not, then you also will fully comprehend that no being is responsible. When you are making informed decisions, it means that you will be making sure that you are able to maintain a healthy pregnancy, which means you're going to be eating the right foods, getting the correct level of nutrition for your body and for your baby, the correct vitamins, minerals, and everything that's needed, proteins, the works. When you are doing this, you are healthy and your pregnancy is healthy and your baby is healthy. And when your pregnancy is low risk, then you know that what could go wrong is going to be hugely reduced. When you are stress-free, when you have all of your mentals and your emotions invested in having a beautiful birth without fear, then again, you are reducing the chances of all the things that could potentially go wrong to go wrong. And quite often, as we're aware statistically, that most things that go wrong in hospital environments often do due to intervention. And in a home birth, you're less likely to receive intervention if you're birthing with a like-minded midwife and even less intervention if you've decided to go this route alone and you are going to have an unassisted birth. And so part of your informed and joint decision making is also going to mean that you will create a plan A in your birth plan and a plan B and that you will be trained and your husband will be trained and your doula will be trained in being able to identify when is an emergency, when an emergency takes place, that they'll know exactly what to do. They'll know who to call, they'll know how to transport you to the hospital, and that you will also be in agreement with that, that you will be willing to go when that time arises or if that time arises. So. 
in this respect, if you've done all these things, the likelihood that anything could go wrong in the first place is now significantly reduced. However, in the event that something did begin to change, that you were able to notice the signs and you were able to get to a hospital to get the help that you would require. So these are the two things. And following that, if you were unfortunate and for some reason your baby was to pass, that you would know within your being that you did everything in your power to make your pregnancy a healthy one and to keep your birth a safe one. And then you just understand that this was the decision of the placenta and you would respect that this decision was made. And therefore, you are not to blame, your partner is not to blame, and anyone that was involved in your process was not to blame in this instance. Following this, it could happen that you decide to go to hospital. And as I'd said before, statistically, with all the interventions that can take place in a hospital, your baby could also die. And then, would you look to blame the hospital staff for this process? Well, quite often, when women have taken um, the hospital staff to court, um, the judge is really checking, did the hospital do their due diligence? Did they follow their process? Were they aware of the risks? And it's all recorded. And in that recording process, the judge is checking, did they do what they are supposed to do? Did they follow their protocol? And if it's proven that the hospital did follow their protocol, then you would lose because they can prove that they are not to blame. And then women that have gone through these processes, it's even harder for them to cope with the loss of their baby, even harder. So taking the, um, the decision to have a baby, to conceive, and to go into a home birth alone is equally as important a decision and a responsible decision as going into a hospital to have your birth and to have your baby. And I just would like to know that women and partners who are making these decisions to have home births, to have conscious births, to have natural births, are truly in touch with the responsibility of their decision-making process and consciously go into this process knowing all of this so that whatever happens, it's an experience, it's neither good or bad, and it's something that you will learn from and you'll apply for the next time and the next time. And I wish you all the best in your decision-making and if you'd like to contact me, to talk to me, you could contact me by Skype. We could do Skype calls. You can write to me. I'll give some more information at the end. But um, follow the links below and you're more than welcome to speak through your decision with me. I'm here to listen. Thank you.